got an AK racing seat, now would be a good time to fasten your seat belts because mm. Don Mega and Visor, we are getting into the game. The teams have uh, jumped into the server and this is going to be a new experience for me. Don, I'm not going to be controlling the camera tonight. All I get to do is watch the play. Yeah, and what a play it'll be. We're already underway. And uh, this is going to be some excited Rocket League action as Orion hits it up from the top. We're seeing the sequential boys, Orion, Aaron, and Sommer. They are on the blue side. The orange side is filled with the B-Bears, Sifo, B-Bears, and Mickey B Crisis. Yeah, and uh, so Aaron, Orion, and uh, Soma on the blue team. And uh, that is going to be... I wonder if that's going to be their first string side for most of the season, uh, Soma, Aaron, and Orion. And I think it is. I think it was Penor that, even though he's listed in the roster, he is not going to be playing a huge amount for sequential. Uh, somebody in the Twitch cat, uh, Twitch cat can uh, correct me if I'm wrong there. Ball sitting up at the moment in the midfield, though, Don. And the team's just feeling their way through at the moment. Yeah, you've got to feel the other team out. You can see it sequential are doing that thing that we see them doing very often they put the ball very close and they keep having shots that'll be Orion and that will be I think an own if we're watching him now he can put, put the ball straight in front watch where Mickey B is I think it was Mickey B no it was B Bears he was the one that ended up putting it through and uh, that is a bit unfortunate. Just some early jitters, I, I put that down to Christ. It's nothing more. Yeah, the angle was quite awkward. Orion played it very, very well, t pinching it gently against the wall so that it dropped down in front of the goal. So here we have uh, Sequential, uh, sorry, a B team coming on to the, uh, the counter attack, looking to restore the balance of things. They're 1 0 down, and hopefully they won't be too rattled, Don, at this stage as they get it up into the blue zone. Wow, somebody just whiffed it. One, two whiffs over there. Soma dribbling it up. And uh, Aaron looking to combine with him, driving straight into the wall. Orion's there to back him up off the crossbar. And Soma just gets the angle a little bit wrong, Don. And it's back in the hands of V-Team. Yeah, and you can see how V-Team all come up together, playing as that, that really, really tight unit, trying to get that, trying to, Put sequential off their game. You can see it's very dangerous for them. Nice little save from Mickey B. He's going to go back into the goal square. B Bears also there trying to get it out of harm's way. He does so beautifully. Goes up in the middle and uh, it's gone oh. back right in front of their goals again. Back and forth. Sifo's going to try and get it out of there. It's gone back from Aaron. He's put it right in front. Big save from Mickey B once again doing beautifully. Sifo with a B trying to get it this, into this attacking side. He's got a friend there friend in need is a friend indeed coming back over the attacking side and it's coming back to him crisis this is going to be some superb action here yeah ryan oh! sets it up sequential uh, soma i think got a touch to it and then orion came through hang on let's have a look over here we've got orion putting it up against the wall and it bounces off aaron with a fake and orion finishes it off for himself and that's the 2-0 up on the board for Sequential and looking very, very powerful at the moment. Uh, there's the center that goes through it, sitting up in the midfield. Orion is the only player up in the air to fetch it. B Bears meets it in the midfield, passes it over to Sifo with the B who carries it through. Mickey B with the closest they've come, but it is cleared out and now carried through into the orange zone by Sequential. There, Aaron with a soft oh. shot. And we'll see in the replay, I don't think there was a huge amount of power. 95 k's per hour, per hour not to be snipped at, but again, a very, very easy shot. Mickey B uh, not able to get there in time and get the deflection in, Don. Yeah, it was Aaron that sort of knocked it from downtown. I, I thought that, I think he thought that someone had saved it the summer and ended up following it up. Didn't happen. Now it's dangerous terms for Sequential. It's gone against a crossbar. Who's going to follow it up? It's going to be Aaron. He's going to knock it into this midsection somewhere up in the air. Who's going to get it? Sommer's going to have a big fight. Knocks it down to Orion right in front of goals. Big save from these boys. Going to try and dribble it up through the midfield. Not going to happen. Aaron putting it right in front of these goals, having another big fight, going to get knocked out of there by Orange. These are the B team. This is what they're going to do. Get it out of there. Save their goals. Try and get it 
Austin to an attacking position. Mickey B has a bit of a fly after it was set up for him. Doesn't make the connection, however. It is a three-goal lead to the sequential boys' crisis. We have one minute and change remaining. It looks like the first game's going to them. Yeah, I think that the B team really are quite rattled at the moment. They're playing uh, what I would call kind of solo queue, and that is an old... Um, and own goal so it's kind of like they're queuing up on their own and just striking the ball whenever it comes near to them doesn't look like there's a huge amount of passing going on not amount of tactical play uh, they are on the back foot with a 4-0 down sequential on the other hand dominant from the opening minute and right through to the end they still got a minute to go and don i wouldn't be surprised if sequential put at least another one onto the board yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either. You can see that Sifo said this is the first time this week. Here it comes. Played. Here we go. Aaron with a nice little knock. That was set up by Sommer, as you can clearly tell. You can watch Sommer here knocking it into the wall there. Aaron's going to follow it up from the back. Very nice. All three of them within the 10-meter radius of that goal. And Crisis, this is what really, really can get frustrating with the sequential boys. They're so, so aggressive. Yeah, the other thing is, you know, that sort of play that happens where you've got all three players cutting in another crossbar strike. And uh, that is a goal saved by the dimensions of the hole more than anything else. Uh, you can just see that uh, when, when Sequential puts together those three-man combos to score goals, two-man there, Soma picking up another, uh, it just throws the defensive lines into complete disarray because... The first shot that goes uh, wide, it's not actually wide. It's just a pass to the play, but it forces the defenders to try and get their, uh, get, get in the way, get a touch to, to disrupt it. So that's a defender out. The second shot that comes in, that's another defender that has to try and get the save through. And by that time, the third, uh, the third shot is an easy street goal to get into the back of the net. And this is Salt rubbing into the wind. Soma picks up yet another, and that is our first hat-trick here on the CGP, CGPL event stream. Ladies and gentlemen, massive shout-out to Soma. Uh, Aaron and Orion, though, Don, on two each, they could pick up theirs in the next 15 seconds. Yeah, they could easily go away with them. If Soma wasn't on this team, they could easily walk away with the MVP. It's just the fact that Soma has been the striker for this team. I think Orion and Aaron were setting up a lot of those shots there, but you can see the ball getting juggled, and the seven-goal deficit looks like it's going to be. It touches the ground now. This is the juggling act that happens. Soma's put it towards the ground, and that's it. It has gone the first one to sequential crisis. That game was... I mean, that, that was a bit devastating to watch, to be honest. Yeah, a bit painful if you're a B-team fan. Even more painful if uh, <laughs> you are on the B-team. And uh, pre feeling pretty sweet. So, sorry, that's a 7-0 result in favor of Sequential Gaming in their first game. So it is going to be very, very difficult for any team uh, to pick themselves up after receiving a drubbing like that, Don, let's see if the B team is going to be able to do it with the first kickoff off of game number two. Yeah, we've got Sifo in the attacking side, very, very fast. And uh, Mickey B seems to be waiting for this ball to come his way. It's going to be interesting how they change up their attacking strategies. It looks like they're a lot more, uh, a lot more aggressive this time. Still sticking with the orange side. We've got Aaron having a little shot at the goals, having a big fly now, trying to juggle it in front of the goals, waiting for a strike to oh. come. It's Soma. He has a bit of a fly. Orion's going to back him up though. He likes to have a couple of goals himself. It's back Soma in front of the goals, putting it up towards in front. Oh, it's Aaron. It's Orion. No, it's not. It's not any of them. Now they've got an open goal. Sommer's there right in front in the nick of time, Sommer. And they will save that last little bit of a goal. Uh, still in danger territory for them, Crisis. I mean, it's in front of the goals, Mickey B with the demo. We were watching Sommer when it happened. And he got demo. Now Mickey B's demoing Sommer twice in 10 seconds. Can you believe it? 
Well, maybe this is the way they're going, they're going to have to play to get through the defences up on the crossbar. Mickey B with a good touch, but Aaron is there. Well reading and uh, picking up the save. There's another demo, Mickey B on Orion. This is definitely a strategy that they have called a tactic that they've said in their, uh, in their comms in between games. Let's get them off the field and let's disrupt them. I'm following b -Bears right now. He's going for the juggle, but it's easily read by Soma. Uh, the dribble... Uh, not good enough to beat the probably the top goalie in the region, Don. And so that is still a donut on the board for the boys from the B team. They go for another shot. B Bears whiffs the ball, though, and it's an easy clear for Soma. A good intercept from Sifo. And what was that? A miscommunication. B Bears in position to take a shot at goals, but uh, Sifo struck it away. Oh. And what is that? An own goal carried all from? the way across the field. B was there, and B Bears. Oh, okay. So it knocked on the, it, it knocked back into him. I didn't think it. I thought, I think he thought it had come in a different trajectory, but it ended up coming straight back for him. And that is the first one to the sequential boys. And crosses. I have to say, there's nothing more. For, oh, Orion, flying in from the side. It was right in front of the goals, and it's there so often you don't really know when someone's going to have a spike. It was just juggled over the top. Aaron juggled it over the top and it's coming in from Orion from the right hand side. Very nice little bit of play. That's 10 seconds, two goals. This is what Sequential like to do. Very aggressive little bit of play. Those first demos that were supposed to throw them off their game have obviously worn off if there was a time limit on them. And now they are striking again. Look at Aaron putting it right in front of the goals once again. Sommer and Orion trying to get to it. Orion does. Trying to juggle it in front of goals, looking for someone to come up. It's Sommer on the 50 line. Is he going to come up in front of goals? He's not. B-Bears gets it right to Sommer. Sommer trying to put it back where he knows where he wants to be. And Aaron has to follow it up now. Coming in front of their own goals. Is the B-team going to have a goal here? Price is this the, uh, is the question we're all asking. Oh, Aaron with the halo. And he keeps the donut up there for the boys from the B team. They're putting things together a little bit better, uh, Don, and uh, keeping the pressure on to this blue zone right now. Sifo looking dangerous out wide. Mickey B gets a touch. It's off the back of the wall, but there's no follow through. And the clear now comes through from Sequential. They get it over into the orange zone. It's cleared out again, though. Sequential uh, are back on defense. But not really, uh, you don't feel as though they're ever in real danger. No, you don't, do you? They seem to be controlling the ball. And this is something I've noticed. The ball control seems to be a lot in, in Sequential's favour. I mean, B team have it at the moment, but they don't really keep it. I mean, there's Aaron having a bit of a fly. You can see how they're juggling it within their own ranks. Orion doing a nice little bicycle kick, get, trying to get it away from these goals. It's still in the hands of Sequential, even though the B team can sort of juggle it up front. They don't seem to have full control of the ball crisis. Yeah, as soon as a Sequential player get, gets there, uh, they're not just disrupting the ball. They are controlling the ball, holding on to it, and uh, then doing what they please with it. And what they please is getting it up into the orange zone, looking for goals. This is danger, though. It's been turned around. There's going to be a breakaway. Who's going to score? It's Mickey Bean putting back a goal for the boys on the B team. That's their first of the competition, the first of their professional era. And as we slow down, Sifo almost got a touch to it. But it is Mickey B with the honours. They will be so stoked with that. But straight away they're into business. Soma going up to going up against B Bears. It's B Bears with the control. The arcing shot towards the goal. Aaron uh, defends it, gets the halo, and in fact picks up his saviour again. Soma comes through with the backup defence and the ball flying across towards the orange goal. Uh, not really quite on target, so it's okay. But Aaron comes through, flying from the back. And puts it in the back, and that is 3-1, Don. Look at the thread on this. So there's three players all within a, a 10 metres. I mean, oh, and threads it so, like, just right in front. That is that is a general, I mean, that is a lack of effort on the B team part. You don't want to have the ball sitting right in front of your goals. I mean, what did you think would happen coming up against a team like Sequential? Yeah, I mean, 
it is we we picked that it was going to be a power play by sequential early on in the discussion we talked about how they would be playing for pride right now they're 2-0 up uh, they've got a two goal advantage in the second game the countdown's on and they're surely gonna win this as uh, soma gets the last clear out there and a 3-1 result well it's not as good as a 7-1 result but if we aggregate the games across uh, the goals across two games it is 10-1 in favor of sequential right now that is an enormous enormous score i mean you can see aaron soma and orion all have goals all were spiking the ball this is something that sequential can do and they can change it up all three of them know exactly where the other one is going to be they know how to be goalies they know how to set it and they know how to spike it and it's so dangerous for sequential i mean even though they were getting demoed two and ten seconds is a lot and they still managed to get that such a, a big lead crisis yeah it's uh, it's a huge disruption to your defensive patterns oh be bears with our first uh, clear i was gonna say halo because it was deserving of that uh orion almost couldn't believe his luck as the ball floated past the open goal be bears there with a clutch save mickey b's now on defensive duties as aaron comes through aaron with that massive goal earlier on uh but that one doesn't go in 30 seconds have gone by and Don Mega, 30 seconds not getting a goal scored against you by sequential is a good result for any team. Yeah, you can see how Soma took it up the left-hand side, then Orion passed it to Aaron where Aaron was supposed to spike it. This is what this is something sequential do very, very well. You can see Aaron taking it up the left-hand side. Orion will put it across the face of goal now. And then Soma will come up from behind and try to score. You can see the one, two, three. And this is how they score goals so effectively because you've got the, the the backup attacker, as it were, up in the uh, up in the danger zone, so you can get those goals that other people seem to miss. And it takes all three of the boys hurling themselves at this ball to even get it out of there. You can see it coming back in the danger zone for Squintrum now. Sifo has a big fly and it can't get it. Mickey B has a fly. It's going to be followed up by B-Bears. Not the right angle, unfortunately for him. Bounces outside the goals. And uh, that's going to be a bit devastating. You really want to score first against Sequential once again. But nevertheless, he's come back into their dungeon. Got to oh. defend it out of there. Getting a last minute little tap onto it will save it from your goal square crisis. Now we're watching them come up for another attack. Yeah, that's uh, Sequential getting in range but not pushing it home just yet. So uh, something that we have seen in previous games that Sequential have played, when they get themselves an early and convincing lead, they sometimes in the mid uh, middle of the series uh, go to sleep just a little bit and give their opponents a, a, a sliver of hope. <laughs> and, uh, well, once that happens, then they come back and turn things around and finish the series uh, generally with uh, emphatic, uh, in, in emphatic uh, position, uh, um, uh, fashion. So we'll see if that's exactly what's going on here. We've had two minutes of play and donuts for both of the teams still on the board as uh, these two teams go up in game number three. Bearing in mind, of course, Don, that this is a five-game series. It's not a best of five. It is a five-game series. They will play out all five games no matter what the result. Yeah, that's going to be interesting for your pride, if anything. I mean, especially against Sequential, you don't want to go 5-zip. You want to win at least one game. I mean, no one wants to play 5 against Sequential, especially if you've already lost the 3. Say if they do lose the 3, which very likely could happen, then you have to play two more games against Sequential after you've won. Beavis! Beavis! Shut up, Don, and look at the bloody goal. Sifo knocking it down against the wall. Beavis! Putting it over the head of Soma, who doesn't move a bloody muscle or a gear in this case. And, is, uh, and it was, yeah, Don, it was an 83k <coughs> power goal. So a soft goal as Soma just fired the sheep there. Uh, bless you. As, uh, oh, and they reply oh, straight. No, no, it's not a reply. Sifo with another one. Where did this come from? Look at Sifo in the midline. Coming up from nowhere. The left and right cross, and then it's... That was a very hard goal. I must say that you've gone the left and right cross with the car and then you've still got it in the exact line that you needed to get it at. Very nice little play. This is what we like to see. Putting it to the bastards. Making sure that they know that you're mean business. We're here to win. Look at me. Oh, 
We're not going to lie quietly in the night. We're not going to go without a fight, as the saying goes. B Bear's having another bloody shot at it. Puts it up right in front of goals. Now it's all getting hairy with Clary. Now the sequential have to do some actual work on Ryan following it down, trying to get that cross. Is there someone there? Yes. Opposite team members can't get it in there in front of goals once again is Sommer. Oh. Sommer putting it through like he does best. That is one goal to Sequential. They needed it so badly to send crisis. One minute and change to go. Yeah, so Sequential definitely going to sleep in game number three of the series. They've got three more games to go. They got two in, in terms of the series score. So uh, just a little bit complacent there, but they're coming back with a vengeance now. That is a good attempt off the wall. Aaron uh, uh, getting the ball, flying towards the goal and following it through in the air, looking to get the air juggle going, not quite getting it as the defenders get there. So it is 2-1, and right now the call, I bet you, well, I was going to say the call in uh, the B B team uh, comms is all about defend, 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 but no, they had two players up on attack, a third player there, now all three scrambling to defend, Sifo goes up, forces the ball onto the crossbar, Somo keeps the ball in the penalty area, but Sifo is able to get the clear out, he's up on the wall, he's going to look to control it, no, he just touches it off the wall, gets another touch, it's a disruption, but Aaron has the control, he's up in the air, looks for the puck, Mickey B's read it, takes a shot at goals, but the halo from Soma keeps it out, another shot, and yet another, and it's crossbars, it is uh, a corner posts, and it is defenders, but it is not yet 3-1, will this be it? No! As the countdown goes, and this is going to be Game number three going to the boys on uh, B team. I don't. Oh, I don't think we've seen it juggle in front of, in front of their goals that much. Crisis. I mean, sequential did so beautifully, only letting the two goals through because they could have easily let more through. I mean, there was a lot of juggling going in in the bloody in front of their goals. Um, that was. I'm, I'm on edge. I really am on edge. It's an actual game now. Yeah, that's really good. Well done to the B team for digging deep and coming into the game. The series is now 2-1 at the moment with Sequential firmly in the lead, but uh, just letting their opponents in. And this is something that they uh, almost habitually do, Don. And I'm pretty sure that any of the pro teams out there that are watching this game will be thinking about uh, getting themselves a bit of a lead um, and knowing that if they do get a lead in the early games, uh, in the mid game, they might well have a chance to press the boot to the jugular. Well, we do say that. You can see the sequential boys. Oh, it was off, it was off the backside. It was off the backside of Sommer. Look at this, coming straight for him. Boom, off the spoiler. No bloody worries. Superb. Uh, good goal. Well worked there. And it took 13 seconds. And uh, this is what we've seen from Sequential time and time again, uh, Don Mega, uh, where Sequential uh, go to sleep and then they wake up with a vengeance um, and start to put things through. I wonder uh, what... <laughs> Uh, whether that's going to be the only goal, surely not. They scored one in that third game, and uh, they've scored one already in this fourth game. Surely there's going to be more to come. Yeah, you can see the you can see Orion trying to save it for the goals. Sifo with a bail sneak it past him, and if we were just watching Orion, so let's watch Sifo off the side, bit of a juggle up the top, pirouette even another pirouette. Just superb trying to get it through there. Definitely deserves the glasses on top of the car. <laughs> <laughs> the deal with it comes through. They've even up the scores. That's well done. But the ball now in the orange zone. Aaron uncontested right now. Three defenders back there for the orange team. And they managed to get a good clear out. Mickey B following through. The touch is good. The goal's wide open. Orion has just arrived after picking up boost. He gets the halo just in time, and now this is an open face. Orion got the halo. He picked it up in the midfield. He got one, two touches to it. Let's have a look. There's the one touch. There's the second touch, and that is a, well, he could have gone for a third, but it is 2-1 now, and Sequential putting the pedal to the metal, looking to secure the series uh, and uh, go up 3-1. Yeah, look. 
when you have three attackers, that happens. You can't say that a th having three attackers isn't a risky business because sometimes, and all times actually, you leave your goals unattended. You can say, all right, having a bit of a fly at it, another juggle upside the head. Aaron is going to have a bit of a grasp at it, trying to get it across the face of the, uh, across the left face of the goal as they do time and time again. The boys have kind of worked it out now, and all three of them have placed themselves on that side. B team, very smart and working out what Sequential are going to do. Sequential are going to have to work the other bloody side of the map if they want another goal here, Crisis, because let's not forget that there are two sides to this map. Yes, yeah, Sifo carrying the ball up into the blue zone. They're going to have their own ideas about how things are meant to happen. Orion again gets the clear out. It's intercepted in the midfield and sits up for a while. Mickey Beer gets into the air. Just a quick little touch to control it. Beats one defender, but Aaron is there with the cover and clears it out. B-Bear's on defense, picks up the halo. Well done to him. It's 2-1 at the moment, and the, goal, the game has certainly tightened up. Uh, after that third game went to uh, went unexpectedly to the B team, they are going to look for game number four to go their way as well. It's not so far behind that they are a nice little cross over the face of the goals. It drops past the corner there, but it's sitting there. And three defenders from Sequential are sure to keep it out. Soma comes through, gets a halo, and uh, gets it to the midfield. But Don, it's still in the blue zone. The pressure is very, very good from the B team. Yeah, they've had so many shots at goal, and uh, you can tell the, the sequential boys are getting nervous. Trying to take it up past that midway point. Orion, for some reason, is taking it down. Passing it to Soma. Soma knocks it, and Orion's going to have the spike. No, he can't make the connection. Unfortunately for him, Soma pushing it from the left-hand side, as they like to do time and time again. Orion coming on the right-hand side, going to push it back, trying to center it up for Aaron. Aaron has a spike, can't make it. Off to the left, the B-boy are trying to get it out of this danger zone, does so beautifully. B Bears trying to get it out. It's gone upside his head and across the face. Now we're looking at the, bo at the boys from Sequential having another shot missing and a bit of a juggle in front of the goals. Crisis, this is such a close, this, is, this game is so close more than any of the others. Oh, this could be a turnaround oh, oh, against the to play, B Bears. Oh, he picked it up. It goal was a goal. goal. Work move from Sequential. They had two players on the side there to... Uh, one of them was going to fake and one of them was going to get the cross, but perfectly read by B-Bears in the goal. He gets a long goal out of that uh, for his trouble. Nobody got the goal steal. And it's even up the scores dead on. It is 2-2 right now. And uh, the game is certainly on Sequential. Soma comes through, takes a strike at the goal. It's high. Oh, Another one that's oh. high. It's slightly low and bounces down. B-Bears uh, doesn't get a touch to it as Aaron keeps the ball in the orange zone. He crosses it over. Orion with a little touch. Oh. And Mickey B. Oh. Oh. Mickey B just misses the ball. And uh, that is a very, very well-placed cross and a touch by Orion. That gets them back into the lead with a minute and seven to go, Don. It's certainly not over. We've seen them get goals in less time as uh, 13 seconds was the opening goal in, the, in this game. As you can see, Orion having another bit of a fly just so is it saves. Aaron having a big fly as well in front of these goals. This is what they like to do. Soma having a fly, knocks it into the crossbar, trying to get it out of Sifo, putting it into uh, a nice little position for me. Oh, this could be it! Hey, having a bit of a fly, Sifo off the wall! Sifo from... Sifo actually from downtown, look at this, bounces off Aaron, and then Orion doesn't get it, and this is just a cacophony of mistakes from this sequential team, leading to a goal. We're tied! And, oh gosh, I hope we go into overtime crisis, I really do. <laughs> 42 seconds to go and we are approaching golden point uh, situations in just a moment. It'll be the first of the Pro League. There's a couple of shots uh, that are well controlled. The ball, the, the orange goal wide open, but b -Bear scrambles, gets a touch to it. Pushes, the ball's popped up into the oh, air Orion. and Orion straight away replies. Orion pulling out the stops, he's picked up a, uh, a hat trick for sequential and he is carrying he's keeping their team uh, in touch of a resurgent beating yeah this what a nice pickup too i mean we lose penner and we get someone like o'brien so 
He has definitely uh, shown that he deserves his spot, having another big fly. Aaron up the back now. What's he going to do? Put it into that left corner that they love so, so dearly. Trying to get it across the face of goals. Ryan will be there. Bebe has almost scored an own goal. Trying to get it out of the danger zone in front of there. It's five seconds left. Are they going to be able to scramble oh. to get a goal? Sifo. Is yes. it? Oh! oh. Side of the goal face on the ground unbelievably a 4-3 victory to sequential your wish almost came true but the twitch chat is going ballistic oh, oh mate. that is how did that happen oh my god i've never seen anything like that holy 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 moly oh cgpl m wave absolutely delivering here crisis that is by the skin of its teeth and i better ready up i am absolutely stunned by that that is the closest finish i've ever seen in rocket league in my entire casting career <laughs> sure given that rocket league's only been out by th for uh for three or four months but uh, don mega it is delivering the goods well i need i need to take a I need a breather. I need. Wow, that is certainly the closest we've ever come to anything like that happening. Vives and Orion having a little tussle, and Orion sneaking it through there. You can see him from the uh, from back in the goal square, and he'll knock it. Vives trying to uh, trying to get there. Unfortunately, he can't make it. One zero. We should mention too. And uh, I haven't updated the scores, but Sequential just doing superb work here today, Crisis. Yes, Sequential at the moment are in the lead. They've won the series effectively 3-1. So right now, this is all about uh, establishing a dominant position. Oh, Sifo comes back. What, what the B team want, they're going to come through with a great deal of confidence. They won that third game in the series. They lost the second game by an absolute smidgen. The chalk was smudged on that inside of the goal, but the ball touching the ground outside of the goal, that's a 4-3. So they will be running very, very confident right now. It's a good showing against the number one power ranking, uh, power ranked team in the Oceanic region, Don. And so right now, uh, B, uh, the B team will be looking uh, at the very least to be picking up a 3-2 result. Listen, I mean, we can say that, but let's not forget 7-zip was the score in the first game. So, I mean... Sure. Yes, it is. And, and yes, goal difference is going to count in the end. But they have... This is a fantastic story for the B team. Absolute shell shock introduction to the professional uh, professional level of play oh, yeah. against Sequential. 7-0 down. And then game two, they started to come back into it. Game three, they actually won as uh, Soma picks up another goal. And it's not, ladies and gentlemen, that we're disinterested in what's happening over here. Uh, it's just that the story of this series is just amazing from B Team. But uh, Don Mega, I get the feeling that in the fifth game, Sequential, I want to just derail that train completely. They will want a 4-1 result. Yeah, they will. And you've got to, you've got to respect the fairy tale. I mean, the, the team winning the five-year invite, getting all this way, and then going up first game against the best team in Australia. The first game they have in the big boy leagues. I mean, that is a tall order and you can't expect big things. And it might have just been nerves the first game because everybody knows, everybody knows Sequential. And going up against the best team in Australia, you've got to have some nerves. So like, it, you know, you can put the first game down to nerves. So that means that really it's much tighter than you give them credit for. Yeah, definitely. So three minutes of play to go and we've got a 2-1 situation. Sequential are in the lead now. They've comfortably won the series. They are comfortably ahead in terms of the goal differential uh, out of this uh, five match series. But they will not want to be sitting comfortably. They will be wanting to drive home the point that people might feel that they have a chance. Soma comes through and uh, is uh, hammering home that point. They might let teams in during the um, during the mid series, 
Don Mega, but they will come back fighting and they will prove that in the long haul, they are the number one team in Oceania. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how Sequential now go up against teams that have been higher seeded, number two, number three. It's going to be very, I mean, if this is the number six team, as you said, it's going to be very interesting to see if, how they're going against teams that are higher. Yeah, it will be indeed. b -Bez gets up into the air, but Soma's there for a good clearance. Orion picks it up in the midfield. Uh, Mickey B, oh, Orion's cleared away, and Aaron uh, was waiting for a pass. He has to kind of change things up because Orion demoed off of the field. His attacking participation put paid, and it's uh, paid dividends as the ball floats through the midfield. And now Mickey B carrying it up into the blue zone. A power cross comes through, but Bebez disrupted by Aaron. A great bunt there uh, as he, he stops Bebez from uh, picking up the goal. And uh, now the attack remains in the orange zone. It flew over into the blue, spent a tiny amount of time there. Back, uh, sorry, back uh, uh, from the orange into the blue zone and kept there right now by Mickey B. It's up into the air. A solo effort from Mickey B. He's touched it once, he's touched it twice, and B Bears comes through to touch it for him the third time. But it's cleared away. Sifo gets the intercept. The joust, though, is won by Aaron, and it's back into the orange zone with Aaron looking to control it and get it across Don Mega. This could be goal number four, but B Bears is there to clear it out and get it into the blue zone. You can see the ball just having a bit of a roll in front of the sequential goals. Very unfortunate uh, that there's no scoring spikers in front anywhere to be seen. As you can see the ball going with some fast pace now into the other side. That's going to be the 4-1. That, that's actually 4-1. You called that crisis. I'm surprised. Well, it's uh, still a minute and three seconds to go. So we could have the floodgates opening. 4-1 is a significant lead and a lot of teams when they face that sort of a, a deficit with one minute to go they kind of go well we've lost this game and things drop now hopefully the point system uh, the goals for and against and the stats that are going to be carried through the season will encourage team or incentivize them in any case to keep on playing right through to the last second of the fifth game and that's exactly what the boys oh mickey b oh he gets the corner post on the left hand side he left it there i wasn't watching what he was doing with his car but it's almost as though he felt it had gone in and uh, left the ball to float through but the corner post the mvp and talking about mvps uh we haven't mentioned of course plantronics one of the sponsors for the season two of the cgpl don mega and we have to choose an mvp from the series and uh, there is a prize that that MVP will win tonight. They will get one month of premium on Cyber Gamer. And they're going to the draw. Ryan with the fifth goal. He gets himself onto the board. He's been so... Um, he, well, I almost said he's been so quiet, but he's actually scored a hat-trick <laughs> out of that. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, the MVP will then go into the draw. Uh, sorry, no, they get a, a, a premium for a month. It's uh, the MVPs at the LAN finals in April uh, will be uh, presented with uh, a Plantronics uh, headset. So a uh, huge uh, shout out to Plantronics, of course, uh, second time, two seasons in a row that they're sponsoring. And now's a good time, of course, to talk about M-Wave. Uh, the... Uh,